Hi Clever Pickles, welcome back to Handwriting Lessons. Today we are going to be using the letter P for our practice. We're going to start with the date at the top line. Before we start though, I'd like you to check that your pencil is uh, nicely sharpened. This will work, however, this is what I'm choosing to use because it has been sharpened a bit better. So that's what I'll be using, making sure you're sitting up straight. If you're on a lounge leaning on something that may not be the best option, if you've got a dining table or if you're at school and you're able to use your desk, that is obviously much better. If you haven't got any other option, let's just practice anyway. I'm going to write the date at the top. Remember, our date is just our warm up. So don't worry if this doesn't look very neat and tidy. Let's get our hands ready, wriggle your fingers a little bit, have a stretch and get yourself together. So I'm going to pretend that today is Tuesday. I would like you to write the actual date that it is for you. If it's Tuesday for you, that's great, we match. Now you might need to check with a parent or someone around you what today's actual date is. I'm going to pretend today is Tuesday the 10th and I'm going to just pick a random one which is, I'm going to pretend it's August. It's nowhere near August as I make this video and I have no idea if the 10th of August is actually a Tuesday because I'm just making this up. This is my warm up. And 2020. So just make sure you're writing the accurate date. Okay, not too bad. I've gone over the line a couple of times there, but that's fine. That's my warm up. Once you're done with that, we're going to start with a capital P. Now remember, capitals go up to the top dotted line. And we're going to start by drawing a line that goes straight down. So up here, the top dotted line, straight down to the bottom straight line. And then we're going to come up here and create a bump shape that goes in this section here, in this top part, which we call the sky. And if you haven't seen the other videos yet, we're talking about this section here, which we call the sky. This section here we call the grass and this section here we call the ground, which goes across that whole area, but I'm not colouring in the whole thing. We just need the reminder. So we're going to keep doing that. So the trick is obviously to make sure that this P shape is not bigger than a normal capital would be. So I'm going to try it again, line straight down and then curve this bump around. Now I'll show you what it looks like if it's too big. I'm going to draw my line straight down and then just do it like that. This is where you end up crossing into other parts, other letters. It becomes not so easy to understand. And it means that we're not forming our letters accurately, which is what we're trying to practice in these lessons. Remember, handwriting is not about learning our sounds, learning our spelling. This is practicing how to accurately write our letters. So let's do one that's a bit too small. That's something that I often see, and that could be quite confusing if you can't even see that spot there. I'm actually going to put a cross next to those ones because I know I can do better. Now I've done one, two, three, four, and we only need to do six, which means I need to do two more, and I'm going to do my best on these last two. You don't need to fill up your row with 20 letters. Your hand will get very tired very quickly. Now, a lowercase p is pretty much the same, except we're going to move it down. So we're going to start at this top straight line here. We're going to come down to the bottom dotted line. So instead of going in the sky and the grass, which we did up here, we're going to go in the grass and the ground. So we're going to dig that P down into the ground. And instead of starting right at the top there and curving round, we're going to curve this around like a ball. It's a lowercase, so we're going to form it slightly differently. We need to be able to see that little line and gap there. Okay, that's what we're aiming for. So let's do our line down again. And we're going to curve this around. It's almost like doing a reverse A. Straight line down and curve it around. It's the same sort of shape that your hand makes when you write a B, except the line is in a different spot. And you can see I went a little bit too long down there. I'm going to try and fix that on my next one. Line straight down, curve around. Beautiful, I've done five, so now I only need one more. Line straight down, curve around. Now if I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video and catch up. And if you want to go over anything, just skip the video back and re-watch that section. 
We're going to put the letter P at the beginning of three words now. And our first one is plant. I actually have a number of plants in my house at the moment where I'm videoing this. Plant. And this is good because we have curves going to the right, curves going to the left, letters going up to the top and across there. There's lots for you to remember in plant. Our next word is pen. Once some of you guys are showing that you are neat enough in your handwriting and across your books, you might get a pen license. And our last one is my favorite food in the whole entire world, pizza. Pizza is the best food. And I like any kind of pizza, veggie pizza, meat pizza, barbecue pizza, all awesome. All right, let's try P in the middle and the end of some words. And I found a word that has lots of P's in it, puppy. So let's try puppy with P at the beginning. And then we have a double P. This is going to be great to see if you're drawing your P's the same size and shape each time. Because look at that. One, two, three chances there to show that you can do it accurately. Our next one is sheep. And oh, that was not my best S, but that's okay. I'm focusing on the P. Sheep. And our next one is stop. So focusing on these letters and then remembering at the end to keep my P neat and tidy. Excellent. Okay, our next line is going to be our fun line, which is where we use the letter P to draw something. So this time I'm going to use the lowercase P and I need to do six of them, remembering my finger spaces in between. P, two, Oh, that was not my best one. Let's try again. That's a bit better. Remember, when you get to the end, this is where your hand starts to get tired. So shake your hand out, put your pencil down, wriggle your fingers, pick it up and try again if you need to. Okay, today I'm going to switch to my yellow color and I'm going to get a red as well to draw this because I'm going to draw a box of popcorn. So I'm going to go over my P like this on all of them. This is going to be my popcorn box that I've created here. I'm going to keep my red pencil nearby. I'm going to draw a bunch of popcorn which starts with my P. You might make it a bigger box of popcorn if you like. I'm going to pick up my red one again and just draw some lines on it to make it look like a popcorn box. Quick and easy. Our drawing part doesn't need to take a very long time. And there's my popcorn. I hope you had fun, guys. See you in the next lesson.